grey area where we talked about the top door slab. Yeah, this is uh, just an amazing piece of work to look at. You've got probably about $10 million worth of engine underneath this bonnet. The bonnet looks as rusty as long as we left out in the rain, unpolished for the last, uh, you know, 30 odd years or something. They pulled it together and said, well, sort of, we're going to make a drag car out of this. Here we go. Yeah, have a listen to this, ladies and gentlemen, as she starts her up. And uh, I'm not talking about a quick time necessarily, but listen to that. You may be saying a 55 Chev is not aerodynamic, you're absolutely correct. So look at the aerodynamics on the back. <laughs> on the track, ladies and gentlemen, the Sydney Dragway, look at the way this engine is lighting up. He's got the flames coming out the back. That's the sort of stuff that we see at the Sydney Dragway. This is one of the exhibition cars, but boy, does she light up as well. Still doing things like around about a six or seven second quarter mile. Well, if you take away the wheels, take away the uh, big engine and probably the fact it's got fiberglass panels, it's almost stock. Of course, yeah. Straight out of the factory. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, just like you yeah. on the, on the track course. today. Yeah, uh, do yeah. they call that a feral engine? Oh, exceptionally feral. It'll be uh, quite good for some of the locals, I suspect. Oh, no doubt about it. But as you can see, now he's just uh, getting a bit straight because I think what we're going to see is a very serious wheel stand here by this guy. And it is quite a unit, quite a bit of a character on this. Short, fast, loud is what we're talking about. So hold on to your seats, ladies and gentlemen. On the main straightaway here at Sydney Motorsport Park. And what a car that is. Light it up just to put a little bit more of that octane into the front injectors there. Make sure that she's got all the right sounds. Thumbs up, away she goes. Wheel standing all the way, ladies and gentlemen. How good is that? Now, these things push out a four-second quarter mile. Something in the order of around five, five and a half thousand horsepower. There's no joke. That's about real figures in these things. An injector hat, almost big enough to swallow a low-flying eagle. Yes, indeed. And uh, I think if you looked at it, the eagle doesn't have to be too small in order to be able to make it through that injector hat. Now have a look at the size of the rear wing. It's all about aerodynamics for some of They want to keep the nose down, they want to keep the tail down, getting traction onto those tyres in order to get those tyres. Five seconds for a quarter mile. Five and a half hours horsepower. And they actually do... Okay, I don't, I don't think so. I've, 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 I've been to a drag race before, it's pretty quiet. Quite, quite, quite amazing to watch. Not only the four and a half seconds on the track, but the 45 seconds. So it's loud enough that they have to get everyone off the street. All the media is all the media is getting out of the way. Look at the rear tyres as they light up here. You can see the size of the rear tyres on the street there now. Have a look at the size of the rear tyres as that car comes up the track. Because you'll see, and I want you to have a look at the size difference as these tyres expand. And that is a very specific type of rubber that's way off here. Now these cars have got and quicker and we have got the best drivers in the world. We have a strategy to mention the cow or Andrew Cow is the race to drive over. Now it's tackling at the moment. This is a absolute field. You can get too close to these things, let me tell you, you get the, the whole wash, the chemical wash, you get the sound, the vibration, the whole thing. This is interactive. Sitting there on the grandstand, you're about to get very interactive with this car. Now, I just like the way that you poured a can of uh, Tui's down the throat of it to keep it tied up. <laughs> I think it was something else. You see the Gold Western car here, and uh, we're looking... Oh, yeah. Thunder and lightning. Look at the size of the tyres, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the size difference in that car. Yeah, it'll be a little bit of a warm-up. They'll get that up to a certain point on the tyres. And hopefully they'll get him back into the station position so he can really light that up for you along the main straight here. And of course, this used to be the drag strip before they built the Western Sydney International Strip or Sydney Dragway, as it's called, just behind us now. And he's just blown a supercharger built of all things. Yes, we've got a replay apparently, ladies and gentlemen, so I'll have that on the screen for you in just a few moments. Thank you very much, Ian. And uh, when you look at these cars, that is something which happens quite a lot is seeing these big superchargers, we're talking lots of horsepower, and look, look at that, straight out, bang, off she went.